Hello to all my Jedi and Sith companions. I'm your host, The Frugal Jedi, and we are going to be starting the Profi tutorial. I will show you what you need, how to set up your computer, and then how to add a sound font, how to update your config file, and just kind of give you a general idea of how it works and how to get started with it. So first thing is you need to have a micro USB cable. The Profi board has a micro USB port on it. So you can see it's that trapezoidal look. It's not USB-C. So you want to make sure that you have a micro USB cable and you want to make sure that it can transfer data or data. Some micro USB cables can only charge a device and those won't work. So this is Logitech. I got this from a mouse and I know that this one will transfer data. If you're unsure, you can take a device maybe you have lying around. So like I use this Xbox controller. It has micro USB, it's the older style. I can plug it in and if it works through Windows, uh, I know that it's the cable is good. If you're unsure, you can always just buy one uh, from Amazon. But yeah, that's important because if you use a cable that's only meant for charging, you could cause damage to the profi board. So that's the first thing is the cable. Secondly, is you need the profi configuration file. And the profi configuration file for uh, this particular Kylo SE is available from NSabers and they sent it to me. And it has a whole bunch of other configurations in there as well for other sabers. So you'll need to download that. If you have a look in the description of this video, you will see a link for Google Drive. Follow that link and that'll take you to this page and you'll see configuration file for single button dot zip. This is the TXQ default profi configuration that they use to program their profi boards. And we need to grab really one file out of there. So we'll download this file. Next, we'll extract the files. So we'll right click, extract all, click extract. Okay, so now I'll go into the folder, into the next subfolder, keep going. And you're going to see a whole bunch of folders and files. This profi config from TXQ is how you would have the Sabre put back to the way it was from the factory. So their default way of programming it. We really only need one file from here. So you're going to go into the config folder. And scroll down till you see the p txq one b 2022829h So we're going to copy that file. And for now, we're just going to put it in a folder on the desktop, which I called Profi. The next thing we'll do is head over to FET263.com. If you're not familiar with that website, that is basically the Profi Guru. So let's head there now. And we're going to be using this website quite a bit. We are going to click the first link here where it says download Profi OS 7. So the first thing that we need, if we just look at the list, is obviously a Profi board. And we need a program called Arduino IDE. And they recommend using 1.8.3 for the version. So we will download that. And I'll click the link right here. I'll scroll down. And here it is. So we'll use 1.8.19. I'll use the Windows installer link. Just download. Just download. All right, and it downloaded it. 
So now we'll install it. Just choose I agree, leave everything checked, and just keep hitting next until it's done installing here. Okay, now that that is finished, we're going to go back. And we need the ProfiBoard Arduino plugin. We're going to click on that. So right here, latest, we'll click on that. We'll just choose source code dot zip or this. That's all we need is a source code. And that is it for that part of it. We don't need the TNC Duino, but we are going to take voice packs. So we're going to click on that link there. And you can get your voice packs in all kinds of languages. There's the default English, and you can listen to it. Main menu. 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 I like that one. So we'll click on the download button right there. And there is one more bit of software that we'll need, and that will be the driver for Windows so it can recognize the Profi board. There used to be the old way of doing it where you used a program called Zadig and you would reset the Profi board by holding down. You can, can barely see them, but there's two little yellow buttons. There's one on that side and there's one right there. And you would hold them down together to do a reset and then you would use Zadig to uh, get Windows to recognize Profi. You don't have to do that anymore, which is good because it was a pain in the ass. So we're just going to click on recommended updating your profi board, the second link. And go down. And this is what you want. You want profi DFU setup for Windows. It tells you that it's only necessary for the first time you're setting up your profi board on your computer. But I have found that sometimes I've had to install it a couple of times. Um, if I haven't been using the Arduino in a long time for whatever reason, if it doesn't recognize the board, I just run it again and then it fixes it. So we'll click on that link and it downloaded really quickly. I'm going to open up Arduino. So I'm just going to type it in my search bar here. And it'll look like that. Next step is to install the Profi board driver in Arduino so Arduino can recognize Profi. So we click on File, choose Preferences. Under Additional Boards Manager URLs, currently it's blank. So we're going to go back to the downloads. And we're going to right click on the Arduino Profi board 2.2 zip file. We'll click extract all. And then we're going to open that. And we're just going to right click on the readme file and choose open with notepad. And it gives you instructions on how to install it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this URL without the little apostrophes. We're going to copy that. Close this, close this. And we're going to paste that right there. I use control V because right clicking on it wasn't doing anything. And then press OK. Next, you're going to go to Tools, Board, and then you're going to slide over to Boards Manager. Up here in the search bar, you're going to type Profi. 
and we're going to choose version 2.2 and click install. Very important that you do that step, otherwise Arduino will have no idea what the Profi board is and it won't be able to communicate with it properly. So, crucial step. Okay, it is finished. And it's going to close Arduino again. And the last thing is Profi DFU setup. So we're going to double click on that. For some reason, the Profi DFU setup that I downloaded doesn't want to launch. But I've downloaded one from a month ago that is working. So I'm just going to use that one. If you're having issues getting it to run, uh, let me know and... I'll contact uh, the person in charge of this program and find out what's going on. But double clicking it should open up an installer and you just click install. And finished. And of course the very last thing we need is the latest Profi OS to put on to the Kylo SE. So right now it is version 7.14 and you just click on that link it'll download it i'll right click on the zip file click extract all and now i'm going to take the profi os folder not the zip file just the folder and i'll move it to the desktop because we really don't need to access the downloads anymore. And that'll do it for today. If you're having any problems getting through these steps or installing any of the software, let me know. Uh, drop a comment or leave a question in the comment section. I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. In the next video, we're going to learn how to update the Kylo SE with the latest Profi OS, make some changes to the config file, and then after that, we'll be doing sound fonts and blade styles. But that's it for now. I will see you all very soon. Thanks so much for watching.